Hi everyone, I'm Yolanda. I have a new tutorial for you today. In this tutorial, I'm going to make three types of cake doll dresses. So let's get started. I'm using this Wonder Mold Pan Set by the Wilton Corporation. I should mention that it brings the doll pick and also a long tube which you need to insert prior to baking your cake as this will allow the cake to bake evenly. I grease my pan with homemade cake release mixture. I will leave a link below on that video. You may also use a spray or simply grease your pan with vegetable shortening and a sprinkle flour to prevent the cake from sticking. I pour the batter into the pan. I like to fill this pan up to one to one and a half inch below the rim. Bring to a preheated oven and bake following the instructions of your recipe. I bake this cake for about an hour to one hour and 15 minutes, but it might take different baking time for you depending on the performance of your oven. Once the cake is done, let it cool before cutting off the crown that has formed on top. Do not cut the crown while the cake is still warm. And don't be afraid to cut this cake in two or three layers and fill it with uh, the filling of your preference. Also, you may stoke the cake with either simple syrup or tres leches, as this is just like any other regular cake. Here are four steps to make the following cake doll. Step one is to bake and ice your cake. Step number two is to roll out fondant and cut white ribbons of the same size. You may texturize your ribbons using a ball tool. Texturizing gives body to the fondant. Then, put some wooden dowels under the fondant to help with the pleating of the ribbons. Gather the pleats and position on the cake, not on a straight line but sideways. And do this for the rest of the skirt. Step number three, take some leaves cut out, roll them to stretch them a little, then place them on the top part of the skirt around the waist.
Step number four. Cut a piece of fondant and roll it out to form a ribbon. Wrap ribbon around the doll pick as to make a dress top. Adjust and cut off excess accordingly. Using edible glue or water, paste the ends of the ribbon together. You may texturize the top if you like using a fondant tool. And to finish off, insert the doll pig into the skirt. And here is our finished doll. Now, let's make a wedding dress in three simple steps. Step number one is to make a mannequin. First, you need to remove the doll's head and arms. When removing the arms, be sure to file down everything from where the arms were. We don't want anything to stick out as it will break the fondant. Then roll out black fondant and roll to a ribbon, cutting two pieces of the same size. With one piece you will cover the front and with the other piece you will cover the back of the torso and the head support. Remove any excess, making sure that there is no air trapped between the torso and the fondant. Continue to soften and smooth out any excess. When you are finished, let your mannequin dry overnight. Now we will make the top of the dress and place on the mannequin. Roll out white fondant and cut a heart using a hard cookie cutter. Stretch to fit. Cover torso from below the neck down. Glue to the mannequin using edible glue or simply water. Then take a pastry bag filled with medium consistency buttercream and fit it with tip number three, make Corneli lace on the entire top. If you prefer, don't pack the Corneli lace on the mannequin yet. Wait until you insert the mannequin into the skirt and then you can pipe the mannequin as well as the top of the skirt all at once. Step number two is to bake and ice your cake. I'm using a cake icer tip for faster icing. Step number three. With a small spatula, smooth surface of the cake from bottom to top, making pleats with the tip of the spatula as you move the spatula up. Next, we will mark an inch or an inch and a half from the bottom of the skirt up around the entire skirt. Using a pastry bag, 
filled with medium consistency buttercream, fitted with tip number three, make Corneli lace all around the skirt where you previously marked. Then insert the mannequin into the skirt, type Corneli lace on the top part of the skirt as well. And here is the final dress, a wedding dress on a mannequin. And finally, let's make a dress with rosettes and the ombre effect. Step number one, ice and bake your cake. Mark lines for your rosettes placement. Step number two, divide your buttercream in equal parts. I'm using three bowls with a one and a half cup of medium consistency buttercream each. I'm using a Mary Color gel icing color. I'm using one drop of coloring for the first bowl, then two drops for the second bowl, and lastly, three drops for the third bowl. In this way, I will have three different shades of the same color. The color that I'm using is a rose color. Like I said before, it's from a Mary color. And here I want to show you the three different shades using the same color. Here they are. Step number three is to make the rosettes using tip number 1M. Start with the darkest shade at the bottom. Then use the lighter shade for the second row and the lightest shade for the third row. Here's a tip for you. To offset the rows, after you pipe your first row of row sets and you are ready to pipe the second row, Type your first rosette between two rosettes of the row below, and so forth. When piping the next row, do it the same way. If there are any gaps between rosettes, you can fix that by piping a start with the same tip and with the same icing color that you are using to fill in those gaps. And now for step four, I'm going to take tip number 21 and I'm going to make small rosettes with an even lighter color. This is almost white. I didn't have to paint or tint this one before because it was just going to be the lightest one. And for the top, I'm going to pipe some start, um, almost the same color as the top of the skirt. You can pipe or have a different color for the top, but um, I decided to have also a lighter color 
so it will look nice like this. Pipe your starts to cover the top part of the dress. And here is the final product. As you can see, I've added some tiny flowers that I made a while back, days ago, out of fondant. And I had them around and so I decided to uh, put them into the dress and they look very pretty. I also put some of those little flowers uh, in the front of the top of the dress you might not be able to see it because they are very tiny but um, I think this one came out uh, just like the other ones came out beautiful if you notice this one is short I cut this cake when I uh, brought it out from the cake pan I cut it short and it's very short it's uh, the skirt is shorter than the rest than the other two and here again is the green one. I think this is a, a very pretty dress as well. And you can add other embellishments that you like. Uh, maybe pearls or ribbons or whatever you like. I decided to leave mine like that. And um, well, I hope that you had fun making all these cakes. I had a lot of fun. And um, please share, subscribe, and like. And uh, I will see you back here again with another tutorial similar to this one. Until then, take care and God bless.